Hi everyone. It is October 13, 2018. It really is very unfortunate that we have our populations. It's not just in the United States, but mostly in the Western world where the majority of citizens are just not using their brains anymore. They do not question what they read or hear from mainstream media and how surreal things are getting. Why are they so surreal? Because everything is so obvious. Drones swamp U.S.-Mexico border because federal agents powerless to stop them. Your federal government, your local law enforcement, as you will see in this article, you are not protected at all. Their hands are tied. The Department of Homeland Security and FBI identified drones as dangerous as cybersecurity attacks, critical infrastructure attacks, and terrorism. And they tell you that they are increasingly worried about this threat because it's only a matter of time until the devices are used to drop a bomb or fentanyl powder on people in a populated area. And you'll breathe that in and die, that powder. But they can't do anything about it. Yeah, uh, transnational criminal syndicates, drug cartels, and terrorist groups. Well, the technology is available to all of them. Wait until you hear the reason why uh, they can't do anything about it. But they apparently, they weigh a few pounds, uh, or a few ounces. They take off from Mexico's Baja California state uh, and buzz over agents stationed near the border at up to 50 miles per hour. In the darkness of the night and the high speeds, the drones, uh, well, it's nearly impossible for agents to shoot them down. Oh, we don't have the technology for them to see at night. Really? Okay, uh, devices will, will hover overhead and watch officers who must continue about their jobs, powerless to stop activity because existing federal law does not allow them to do anything about it. Oh dear, well, if it's such a threat, then why aren't our uh, representatives in Congress passing emergency legislation to untie the hands of these federal law officers so that they can do something about it. Well, you'll hear the reason for that in a moment. But Kathy Lanier, the former chief of police in Washington, D.C., turned NFL Vice President of Security. She testified before the Senate, said uh, fighting back is difficult since any item falling out of the sky, especially one with spinning wings, can pose a threat to the public. Oh, okay. Um, well, there are a few ounces to a few pounds. And they can't disable these devices or shoot them down because their spinning wings would cause a threat to the public. Um, uh, do you get that that sounds a little, I don't know, incredulous that these little devices with their spinning, well, the wings would stop spinning once they were shot down. Once they, once a bullet hit them, okay, the wings would stop spinning. And then you would have a little device falling out of the sky uh, that people couldn't move away from. All right. Lanier said that she has the same problem as the federal government. 
because it's the Federal Aviation Administration Reauthorization Act. Because of this act that apparently was that was passed two weeks after she testified, federal, state, and local law enforcement can take a down can take a down uh, can take down a drone. But virtually all of the ways they could take that drone down are illegal. So they can't take it down because using the devices that disable drones is apparently illegal. Uh, the laws bans the use of products that would rely on telecommunication networks to force the drone to return to its operator. That's because those mega corporations have told Congress not to change current policy in a way that would affect their airwaves. So, what that little paragraph is telling you right there is our telecommunication industry is more powerful than Congress. Our Federal Avi Aviation Administration, their Reauthorization Act, apparently, um, uh, well, who, who, who makes this, who writes this act? Isn't it Congress? I guess not. I guess the FAA, along with the telecommunication industry, overrides Congress. They've usurped congressional power. And we think that we still have the same country that we lived in decades ago. There are drone killer devices, very similar to a gun, has a trigger, and you can pull that trigger to kill the drone. You can bring down drones, but you can't interfere with the spectrum. You can't interfere with the spectrum that our FCC, the Federal Communications, um, Federal, uh, what is it? Federal, God, my brain, the Federal Communications Commission. Um, won't allow our federal government or federal law enforcement and local law enforcement to use a spectrum that could kill a drone that might be carrying a bomb? Well, you just can't do it? This is, you know, the horseshit, sorry for the French, but the horseshit that Americans are supplied on a daily basis is just, it's truly amazing. Local law enforcement offices are constantly inquiring about his company's machine. Th this guy that makes the killer drone, drone buster, drone killer, and other products. Um, they're constantly inquiring about his company's machine, even though it's illegal for them to purchase and use them. Well, if our law enforcement is inquiring about purchasing something that is illegal, then why aren't they under investigation? The FAA bill doesn't go far enough to allow are you ready for this? The Department of Homeland Security and local law enforcement. They, the, the FAA bill trumps the power of the Department of Homeland Security and local law enforcement to mitigate drones that pose a threat. And they're being forced to consider items like drone killer, which is illegal. The Department of Homeland Security uh, can't can't tell the FAA to amend that bill. Uh, we're supposed to believe this. So the FAA, this bill is forcing our local law enforcement and the Department of Homeland Security to inquire 
about illegal products. It could save lives if it prevented a drone from dropping biological or chemical weapons in public. But their hands are tied. That bill makes those products. And they, well, it's just illegal. They can't buy them. They can buy. Local law enforcement can be given these gifts from the Department of Homeland Security that have militarized our local law enforcement. They have all of this technology to spy on us. They have these huge, uh, what are they called? But they look like these huge, like not tanks, but those militarized trucks. Oh, they have so many products now, but they just can't get a drone killer. They're setting you up because our public, our people, the, the fellow citizens, they don't think, they know they don't think they can write this crap. And before there is a drone released or set off by our own military to drop a bomb or fentanyl powder, they've already placed out into the public the reason and the, the the group that is going to do it a terrorist group choice what's their choice procure equipment whose use would be illegal or remain unequipped to respond to a security threat that could endanger tens of thousands of people really it's not a matter of lawmakers not wanting to act. Oh, they want to act, but they're just tied. Donations from the telecommunications industry. That's what is uh, tying the hands of Congress. Those donations, money. Are you kidding me? It's right there in your face. It's not a matter of lawmakers. Oh, they want to act to protect you, but you, God, we do get a lot of money from the telecommunications industry. So uh, we're going to go with them. Uh, they say that these killer devices for the drones, it would rely on their networks to send a signal to the drone as it jams the drone's mission instructions. So the telecommunications industry and Congress and the FAA do not care about your life <laughs> because, hey, we, telecommunications industry, we're not going to be like, you know, allowing you to use our networks to stop a drone that's carrying a bomb or fentanyl powder. We just don't want to do it. Lawmakers of both parties have said that it's because it's a powerful lobbying group, the telecommunications industry. And here that it would take another terrible act of 9-11 with a drone to force Congress to make the changes right away. Wow, so are we going to have another terrible act like 9-11 so that Congress can finally do the right thing and pass a law that will make uh, legal our law enforcement to buy the technology those products that can kill the drone that will kill you. This is what we're living. We give officers guns with bullets if they make life and death decisions all the time and we trust them with that. Why can't they apply the same training and rules of engagement with this device? Well, this last paragraph in this article points to a whole other reason it's not the bill, it's not Congress, it's not the telecommunications industry. It's now the individuals working uh, as law enforcers. They, we should be able to just trust that they can kill these drones with bullets or with these products because they make those life and death decisions all the time.
what? Okay, that that's a bizarre ending to an article that's claiming it's the telecommunications industry, it's the donations, um, and it's the FAA in the bill and the bill tying the hands of the Department of Homeland Security. Oh, it's just too illegal to buy these drone killers. We can't. Are you kidding? Come on, guys. Link is below.